I'm leaving Zagora. Yes, I finally, finally left uh, Zagora. I stayed in Zagora much, much longer than I, than I wanted, but I felt uh, very, very weak. The infection was very, very nasty. I took five days antibiotics and uh, yeah, I was very, very weak for a long time. And uh, now I feel better. I could have left a few days ago, but I wanted to get a, a little bit more strength. For example, now I'm holding just the GoPro with a, with a tripod. You can see it's the GoPro and this thing, it weighs nothing. But still, it's a bit of a struggle. So I lost loads of weight. So I eat a lot the last, uh, the last week. While I was at the hotel, I also made friend uh, with Abdul and that works at the hotel, he invited me to his home. It was really nice to be out of the hotel because uh, I was going out of the hotel only to buy uh, food uh, to cook in my hotel room. Abdul is my friend, he works at the hotel where I'm staying and he was so nice to invite me in his beautiful home in the city. They have a very nice terrace, you have a view on the oasis. And this is his son, what's your name? Here again, uh, my friend Abdul from the hotel and invited us to eat this tagine with the whole family. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Meanwhile, I was staying in Zagora. The winter uh, is over. It's not cold anymore, so you won't hear me complaining about being cold. It's really warm. I will continue crossing the desert. Here, uh, I'm going to Tata. Another lucky thing that happened when I was in Zagora sick is that it rained for uh, seven days. They said it was two years. It didn't rain in the area. Seven days. They hadn't seen so much rain in a decade, in over 10 years. I was glad to be in the hotel, to be honest. There was floods everywhere. Loads of roads, they were closed. There is still some water in the river here and there. I'm so glad I didn't have to cross these rivers when they were full of water. They find a way to import the same farming system we have in Europe, so they can farm in the desert. Before, they were uh, only able to farm uh, in the oasis. But now they can pollute the whole desert with the, with the one-use uh, plastic in farming. Good. Well done. Let's export democracy and plastic everywhere. This is plastic they tried to burn, but failed. So before, all the people of the, the desert, they were nomad. But now, with the gas, they pump water. With one tank of gas, five hours, they can pump water. And uh, here they are growing peas. You can see the peas here. Uh, there, there is cumin. This is coriander. Looks like parsley, but it's coriander. Washing the glasses because now we're drinking tea. This is the water reservoir with the frog, some fishes. That's uh, the water we're drinking now, the tea. Boiling tea. Sugar. But mint is only in the summer, no? In the summer. No. no. Now that is warm. Yes. In uh, winter. Sad. This is uh, cumin. 
cumin is the most used spice in, uh, in Morocco. They put it on everything. There's much less visibility now because the wind is picking up, so there is more dust in the air. Last hour, 50 minutes to sunset. I think uh, here is where I'm gonna camp tonight. Probably gonna pitch my tent here. Perfect campsite last night. It was really nice. I'm all packed and good to go. Yesterday was a very, very rough trail. Mostly flat, uphill a little, but yeah, so much rocks. It was all like rocks, like big rocks all the time. So today I hope uh, the trail is a bit more gentle. If it was all like this, it would be super, super fine. This is the problem when it gets more rocky. I hate when the rocks are this big. It's really difficult. It's starting to be windy. Not sure if I like it. I stop in a village for uh, well, to get water, first of all. And then I stop to chill a little bit. I got a Sprite. And then I got some uh, an omelette, some eggs. And while, uh, while I was there, I met two German guys. They are uh, also traveling by bike. Very light, by packing set up only a few days and uh, yeah they are also on this route but I couldn't go with them because first of all they're faster than me and second of all I had just ordered the the omelette the moon is already high in the sky I think it's full moon Full moon in Mortor. Beautiful, beautiful landscape. It looks like Mortor. Water can keep the fire out. Don't obey, just let it all out. The rain of sound and bass. Shut it out in the face. I give you a 360 view. Full moon, I think. Looks like pretty full to me. I will cycle another 10, 15 minutes to see if I can catch up with the, with the German boys. I can't see the tracks of the German guys anymore. At some point I saw they went left, but that must have been an old uh, piste. I stayed on, the, on this one and eventually it, they should have come back. But I haven't seen uh, their tracks ever since then. So I think uh, they stopped camping there, but I don't want to go back. I think it's time to camp. Let's go up this way. Getting ready, getting ready slowly. What a beautiful spot. Just beautiful. 
so peaceful as well. Nice. Very, very. So nice. So, so nice. You get sandier by the minute. But I think I need to go up these mountains. It's getting warmer and warmer. So now we are today, I think we should get to 28 degrees. So I'm drinking more than I used to. So I have to keep it in mind. I catch up with the German guys that I lost last night. Very fast, very fast. Too light, too light. Well, it turns out I was right. When I saw the trucks going left, they went left for a bit and then they came there. Hello. How are you doing? Great. Uh, no, I met them yesterday. I met them again today. Yeah. Where are you from? France? I'm from Belgium. Ah, Belgium. Almost France. <laughs> <laughs> Italy. Yeah. I wish I was going down though. <laughs> it's going down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, how long is the top? It's not very far. No? Okay. I left uh, Tissin to where I caught up with the German boys. We had a bit of food together. I chill a little bit. It got really windy, so I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going back, but not too much because now, otherwise I have to cycle uphill. But if I turn around, then the wind is too strong to, for, for the microphone. So yeah, caravan route for the last uh, three days. Yeah, let's keep going to Tata on the caravan route. Let me turn around. And now because of the wind, you probably won't be able to hear me. Must have been a well, no? Full moon rise, sunset, very beautiful sunset. I think I will camp on the bed of this river. I just go a little bit down. Good morning, boys and girls. Very late, very late, very lazy as usual in the morning, but look at this. And I would have liked to show you the night because it's full moon, but on camera, it's very difficult to, to translate the experience of uh, sleeping in the desert. Now I will pack up. Last night was beautiful because, uh, yeah, there was lots of wind and uh, I removed my clothes. I just had, uh, I removed the socks. I just had my short after dinner and uh, I was really enjoying of, uh, of the, the breeze, the wind. Uh, the wind was quite strong, but it was uh, fresh enough to make me feel, I don't know, energetic, fresh. But it was maybe one degree over 
the limit when uh, I would have said, okay, I'm getting cold. So it was just perfect, perfect. And uh, yeah, then in the morning, there is no wind. First thing in the morning, oh uh, well, let's go there and see. What's the story? Hard work. Okay, there we are. Wow, nice water. Nice water. Look at this. Very, very good water. Martor. Those are water reservoir. That one is empty. The one is still full. It's six cubic meters of water. Another well. This morning there is water everywhere. I'm sure I, after lunch when I need it, zero water. And these fucking rocks. Not even a single tree today. Where to find a bit of shade to cook some pasta. Let's keep on going. Maybe down there there are some trees with a bit of shade. It's either this one or the next. I think the next is best. Where the shadow gets. You sit on a different seat. Nice lunch break. Ate some pasta. Now it's time to, to make some progress towards Tata. I'm uh, 68 kilometers away. Be nice to, to find a well. Because I drank a bit too much water today. Made some pasta as well, so these rocks are doing my head in. Fucking hell. I'm like the German guy. Starting to hate the fucking bike now. I mean, I hate the fucking trail. Rocks, rocks, fucking rocks everywhere. As you see now, there is a shack there, some trees. Maybe there is a well. Wouldn't that be nice? This morning, water everywhere. When you need it, there's never water. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I not cycle this anymore. I don't have the energy. I need to walk the fucking bike. This is brutal. I'm exhausted. Already the double track was not very easy to follow. For fuck's sake. Why do they do this? Like... If there was a fucking highway. I understand. But come on. There is probably water there, but it's fenced off. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna... This is the spring of the oasis. I'm gonna dip it down like this. Very clean. Very clean water. So we found the source of the oasis. I can go back. 
let's go back and uh, respectfully close the gate as I found it. All right, looks good to me. Look exactly as I found it. I'm very respectful of private properties. Seriously, man. How am I supposed to ride here? How? I hate these rocks now. Really hate them. Fucking rocks. There is no end to this thing. No end. Fuck me. I've been pushing since I was on that hill. Down the oasis and all here. It's fucking brutal. Fuck, fuck, fuck me. Still pushing. It's tough, it's tough guys. Very tough today. The sun has set in mortal. Today is terrible. Terrible. And at the oasis I only went with one uh, with one bottle to get the water. Mistake. Mistake because I realized I have less water than I wanted. I'm exhausted. Very exhausted. Very exhausted. Let's keep on going for another uh, 20, 20, 30, 40 minutes. I mean you need to get going because there's no way you you can pitch the tent here. So I'll be going for a while. I would say beautiful but fuck me. Oh man. Look at that. Maybe maybe there is a a proper dirt road. I'm not sure I can cycle it, but it's better than this fucking single track. We have a problem, there is a river. This is my bike. That's the sunset. That's an oasis. And there, there is a river. The other problem is where to camp tonight. I will have to camp on these rocks probably. Moonrise, so beautiful. Probably today is full moon, no? <laughs> I think it's three days I say it's for me. That's where I slept on uh, some of these rocks and uh, yeah. Now I need to cross the river there. It is not too deep. I can put some, uh, some more stones, but on the other side it looks muddy. Let's see, let's go down there and see what happens. And then I, I will try to to cross the oasis hoping that it's not fence on the other side because here there is some fencing and also it looks like there is some fencing over there so let's see okay let's do this it's not deep but it's a bit muddy but these stones should help me to keep my shoes clean. I was scared. Now we go up. First challenge done quite easily. Better than I thought last night because the river looked uh, deeper last night in the dark. So. Now, second challenge to cross the oasis. So I'm following the route of caravans that is a bit more direct to Tata. And the route goes uh, between these mountains on the left and those in front of me. The 
water I took last night at the, the oasis with the, with the turtle is really good. That's where the route of caravans joined the main road. I cannot believe it. After two days of those fucking rocks. Look at this. So smooth. I mean, not a great riding, but easy, easy. Tata, I made it. I never go to camping site and look at this. I'm in a campsite. Hi. Remember him? Seba? Remember he had a very nice girlfriend in um, La Linea? And now he has a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Made a nice salad, cucumber, avocado, tomatoes, garlic, raw garlic, and uh, some other stuff. And Seba Turbolento is uh, grilling mutton. <laughs>